Hello and welcome to the third and final video in our series looking at how Facebook can help tennis coaches. We've looked at how to set up a Facebook page, how to build an audience and this time we're going to look at the importance of content. I'm Rob Salmon from Torchbox. In my day job I work in social media with brands like Yahoo, Samsung and Oxfam. Back in the first video, I said Facebook could help you get closer to people, keep people up to date and demonstrate your expertise. To make this happen, you're going to need good content. Let's have a look at this using the Derbyshire Tennis Facebook page, which I run in my spare time. A Facebook page can be a great way to bring members of a community together. You could wish people a Merry Christmas or a Happy Birthday. Post on things we're all likely to be passionate about, like voting for Andy Murray and sports personality, and use your page to help get closer to people on other social networks, like Twitter. You also get closer to people by having some fun. Ask a Silly Question is a video feature where we ask people questions like, what's the best thing about Derbyshire? This one went down a storm. 70s style Derbyshire tennis. A Facebook page is a brilliant tool for delivering news to people. Here's some examples. Jenny was shortlisted for East Midlands Unsung Hero and an ex-Derbyshire junior played for England at rugby. In Derbyshire we do love our county competitions and we use Facebook to deliver news as it happens. Try and inject a bit of personality into your updates. You're likely to get a good response and tell people about what's happening at your club, competitions, open days, coaching opportunities and social events. We also use the page to deliver British tennis news. We spotted this story on the LTA page, hit the share button and shared it to our page. We also keep an eye out for cool things going on. For example, Judy Murray's Set for Sport initiative would be a great piece of content to share. Online video is becoming increasingly popular. So get someone to record you showing how to serve or hitting a trick shot. When people see you in action, I reckon they'll be on the phone to book a lesson right away. Before I go, a few other key points. It is possible to pre-schedule posts so they go out automatically. When you're putting in a status update or photo, just hit this clock symbol and fill in the date and time you want to publish. Be sure to remember to check for any comments or questions after it has been published. You can check your scheduled post at any time by hitting use activity log. Also, you don't have to be the only admin. If other people are willing to help out, just hit the admin roles link and you'll be able to add others. It is in your interest to monitor how successful your posts are. Under each of your posts, you'll get a figure for the number of people you have reached. Do try and drive comments and likes, as it is likely to result in increased reach. For more detailed insights, look for this box on your page. Hit see all and you'll get lots and lots of data. With your Facebook page, please do follow LTA guidelines. When you say something on a Facebook page, you're saying it in public, so think before you publish. Images perform well on Facebook, but make double sure you follow the LTA's guidelines on recording and publishing images. For example, getting parental consent before publishing any photos of under-18s, and if possible not revealing the names of the players. The LTA's safeguarding team will be happy to help with any questions. To conclude, if you commit time to it and publish compelling content, Facebook can become your very own media channel. You can get closer to people, keep them up to date and demonstrate your expertise. And that's got to be good for your business. So try to post at least weekly and if possible two or three times a week. With some of our clients, we post a number of times each day. To keep up to date with everything going on in British tennis, please do take a look at the LTA Facebook page. And thank you very much for watching this video.